is how do you to decide when to go back to a place you love and when to get a new adventure? Do you have some rhythm there? Or? Oh, that's a very good question. Yeah, it's a good question. You know what? Because, yeah, we, how do we decide? Uh, we alternate, you know, between discovering new places, but also here's how we decide. And it, this is always with us. <laughs> it's our inflated earth. <laughs> And then we deflated to travel, and then we reflated. That's the only part of decoration in all our apartments. So how do we decide? We usually try to go with a certain logic, and I personally try to travel from east to west because it's way better on my jet lag. Actually, it's good for my system. It's readjusting my system, in my case, traveling, traveling from east to west. And then we follow the uh, best season, you know, like uh, if it's uh, August, July, we're going to try to be here, you know, <laughs> in the northern hemisphere. If it's uh, December, January, we're going to try to be in the southern hemisphere. Okay. And then uh, in spring and summer, we like to be in Europe. Uh, spring and the fall, sorry, we like to be in Europe. So, and then Europe, and then we're going to try to do Africa more like in the winter time like you know between october march and so on so we try to find a, a, a certain logic in the sequence to not go back but sometimes we do go back you know sometimes it's just the way it is yeah. but we try to follow like a path you that's know? very good yeah and then that's how we do it now on our path what's there then there's these cities that we love that where we feel home where we lived before, where when where like, when we go back. Tell us some of your top favorites, the way you oh, always go back. I have so many favorites, but I would say I'm gonna name you like the cities that we really feel home, we're in love with, and we never get tired of. Like we're all as excited to go back, always, and uh, we cannot think about not going back. Kind of, it's like if we ever have twelve homes, it would be like these twelve places. <laughs> But so I'm going to try to go from, let's say, east to west. So it would be like Tokyo, mm -hmm. uh, Bangkok. In my heart. Yeah, Tokyo, yes, Japan. Uh, so Bangkok, Thailand, and then uh, Mumbai, India, uh, Istanbul. Um, oh, yeah, I'm with you on that one too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, then I'm moving west, uh, Rome. Uh, and it, all these cities I'm naming, we've been there like a long time. If we put it together, you know, like in all the times we went back, uh -huh. all together, it comes to be a long time in each. And then uh, Amsterdam. I mean, uh, I have so, beautiful. such great friends there. Um, uh, Madrid. Love Madrid. Crazy, crazy uh, nights. <laughs> Fast nights every night. And uh, let's say in Africa, we love Marrakesh. And uh, then let's we go to North America, Montreal. I'm naming my own city because, yes, it's amazing. It rocks. And I will always. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then uh, New York. I've never lived in New York. I love New York. And the last one I'm going to name is like sometimes a surprise for a lot of people, but it's like Mexico City. That has been one of our biggest no, surprises. No, I totally agree. And what oh, you, the yeah, food, you the went? art. Yeah, I lived there as well. Yeah, the food, the art. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. And wow, we're so happy we didn't listen to the people who were saying like it's dangerous and polluted. No. It's happening to be like one of the jewel of the world. And we always go back to Mexico City. So all these places I just named you, and as you may have noticed, they're all urban because that's the thing. We're like urban travelers. Mm -hmm. We love to live in the heart uh, of, of cities. That's what we love. Yeah. So, yeah, that would be what I, I, have, uh, I can say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's okay. I am just so glad that you have finally started writing a blog and keeping some of these notes because someday I'm hoping you're going to write a book because just like now when you got out your inflatable earth and told us your your three or four guidelines for your travel, I mean, there, there's so much you have learned in 21 years that you would share with us. So thank you for writing that blog and I'm hoping for a book. 
or a movie. Oh, thank you so much. But thank you so much, Diane.